Okay, we got deck number two with the amethyst. Um, this is my own blend of essential oils. I make my own essential oils, healing oils, with all these. Um, I'm probably going to be, if anybody wants any, just let me know in what you have. And I'm able to research it and find out the best blends for you individually. I also do aromatherapy, which is in there. So, I'm going to try not to rock during the video. Sometimes it helps calm me down. Let's see, we don't need the light. Okay. Let's see if that works. Mm, yeah, I guess. It's just hard because I can't see. I'm going to show you the cards. But we'll try it this way. So, I painted my nails and I kind of not paid attention and kind of ruined them, but it's alright. I don't care. I can take them off and fix them. So, for the amethyst, see, it's really pretty. Okay. So, this is cart deck number two. Um, it says, The moment I embrace my peace within and surrender, the outcome is the moment that the universe can truly get to work. Hopefully you can see that. Let's see. That right there. Yep. Okay. And heart chakra. It says, love is, is the heart of the matter. Your heart is in the center within your physical being attuned most to love. It is safe for you to love and be loved with an open heart. As we stand by with perfect protection and guidance. That's heart chakra. And time to go. It says, The sun sets and rises each day, and it is the same with the Avenues aspects in your life. I apologize, my eye is just, Um. The sun sets and rises each day, and it is the same with the different aspects in your life. See the beauty within each sunset in your life, and know that the sun will rise again tomorrow. Endings are merely a start of new beginnings, and we are with you through each phase and cycle. And then, the unicorn cards, goddess. Um, it says, honor your divine feminine ener energy, see your inner beauty, love every part of you. And that's goddess. And with the unicorn, rebirth. Rebirth could mean many things. It's uh, basically the cards, the angel cards. Uh, an end to a situation, an end to... Whatever you're going through could possibly be coming. And this one is rebirth. Rebirth. Reinvent yourself. Give life to your dreams. Create a new reality. This is what I've been doing. Um, intention. It says, be clear and, wait, be clear and decisive. Focus on what you really want. Be bold with your request to the universe. You know that saying, opposites attract? Well, I'm learning the. in order to manifest what you really want in this world, I'm learning to not focus on what my desires and wishes are, but to put step into creating things and not worrying and putting that energy because everything's energetically connected um and so i'm focusing mostly on creating passions and so i'm gonna have one account on instagram and twitter and facebook that's creating passions and have them all tied together it's up so 
Um, this one is Alice in Wonderland, the Oracle card. It's Wake Up. Um, wake Up, It's Your Moment, and it's card number 25. <laughs> I got sidetracked. I apologize. That happens to me a lot. <laughs> and um, Basil is really good for um, focus. I just don't have my aromatherapy going right now. But, okay. It says, A rude awakening. Being asked to deliver before you feel you are ready. Being present and fully engaged in what is happening around you. Making a comp contribution being assertive despite your gentle nature insisting on being able to tell your story making your moment count sharing with others who are ready to listen come here unicorn come here can I have a hug okay mommy have a hug come here unicorn unicorn come here and give me a hug come here I want a hug can I have a hug I didn't mean to push you away can I have a hug I love you I love you, unicorn. <laughs> okay. Um, all in the golden afternoon. Inspiration, creative spark, imagination, um, content, um, consumption. So, number one. Okay, it says, time to create an imagine. wait, time to create. And then an imaginative idea, inspiration takes hold, talent and abu abu ability. The muse touches down in your life. Get ready. And then we have Gaia. And it says, um, the frequency of Gaia reminds us that we are in infinity in infinity connected to one another just as we are just as we are to our great mother and to the universe that birthed us all I'm gonna look it up in here I know that everybody um, when they do their reading they have their own way of reading the cards but I like just reading it from here because everybody has their own perception and perceives things different so um so in the uh sacred geometry activation oracle cards they have uh try this thing see down here at the bottom it's try this um and for each card it says close your eyes for a moment and contemplate how we are all connected to each other to the earth to the cosmos do you have a community that you are part of how do you support this community? How does it support you? When was the last time you were in a group and experienced the power of a joined intention? And that's this one. And then we got card number 42. Trantra Journey. I can't say that word. <laughs> it says the frequency of the... Tantra journey helps us to unblock the hidden knowledge and wisdom that we instinctively hold about how to reach the state of wholeness and completion through our central experiences within ourselves and with other with another. So, forty two. That's funny. I opened it straight to the page. So I'll read to you. Hopefully. This will keep going. Okay. I'll read to you what it says in here. See, it has, like, lots of stuff. I'll read it all to you. Just forgive me for my errors in um, reading. Okay. It says, The journey into the Tantra, tantra is about expansion. Of consciousness the word Tantra can be translated as that which goes on expanding its primary uses the senses as a pathway towards focusing the mind 
in ultimately letting go of the mind to reach the state of internal oneness. Through sensual, through sexual sensation, one of the most powerful sensation humans can experience, we can achieve a state of union within ourselves or with another. As spiritual beings in a corporal vehicle, we can access our multidimensional nature through our physical body, letting our senses guide us into the, a vast universe that lies right beneath our skins. The tantric journey imagined shows um, image shows the intersecting triangles as a reference to the union between the masculine and the feminine, where the upward triangle represents the masculine and the downward triangle, the feminine. The purple represents the connection to the source as the basis of our expanding consciousness. The petals, the petals and the orange center represents the second chakra, the seat for our sexual expression as well as our emotional, as well as our emotions and our creativity. The swirling circles, the ones in the center and the large ones in the background represents the part of our origin that is off planet. <coughs> Blue is associated with clear expression of truth. Um, the Ser Yantra is visible in the center as a representation of the integration that takes place through time through union. Squares represent the form based world that we experience as spiritual beings in a physical body. And then, of course, it has the try this part. It says, put on some new. Put on some music that you like. Stand up, close your eyes, now slowly start moving your body. Just let it flow and move any way that feels good. And don't think or judge, just feel the flow. That's kind of when I get, um, that's why I rock sometimes. Well, a lot of times because being highly sensitive and empathic, I'm able, I've been able to pinpoint like, like, I walked up to my niece aunt the other day, like, a week ago, and my hips started hurting really bad, and I'm like, um, do your hips hurt? Do you have pain right here? And so, that, and, like, weeks before that, I would, always at different times, it never really connected the dots that it, I was feeling somebody else's pain. So, and through, like, access consciousness, um, 98% of our thoughts are not our own they're the people that are around us so I've been doing like deep deep healing of myself um and I'm willing to help anybody if you need questions or answers or um guidance or something I can lead you in the right direction to a point because um like I want to be a coach for people to help them but um it's more like you have to go to their house and see what, because it's not just one aspect, not just this, that needs to change. You need to do a whole, like, creation of changing a huge amount. And so, and I was talking to my soul mom and dad, they're really awesome people, um, about this, when I lived in Winslow, about going to people's houses and helping them change for the better, but how safe would that make me or this or that so now I'm just doing videos and whatever happens happens so um yeah so look unicorn wants to say hi say hi unicorn no you're not gonna say hi <laughs> why not how about a hug can I have a hug unicorn <laughs> guess not all right well May you may your day be filled with joy, happiness, and love, and we will see you again, or not. But I'm grateful for you taking time out. Thank you. Love you guys.